Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I have the second part of my review. Back before Hunter was born, we had tested out this little device called the Roo. So I was also sent this product, but I wanted to wait until Hunter was here so that way I could actually test it out with him because it is a baby monitor. So this is one of the new ones that was released um, from Hubble Connected. It's a Motorola uh, baby monitor. And one thing that I mentioned, I think in my labor bag video, was that I never wanted another baby monitor without an actual like screen that you could see the baby because with my firstborn, Ella, everything about her, raising her, um, you know, she was my guinea pig, so I had so much to learn and I was so... Like every little noise that she made, I would jump and I'd be like, is she breathing? You know, like I was very, very uptight <laughs> with her. With being my second one, I kind of know like what to expect a little bit better. Obviously every baby is different. Every baby has different needs um, and handles those needs a little differently. But like overall, I'm kind of picking up where I left off um, and I knew that I needed a monitor with a screen. So um, I'm really, really grateful. I was sent this product. I don't ever hide that from you guys. I did not purchase it but all opinions will still remain my own. I made that very, very clear when I agreed to this collaboration. Honestly, baby monitors are kind of hard to get wrong. Um, there are definitely some things that you might look for in others that other ones might not have. I know some baby monitors will like double with music or double with the lights or all this fancy stuff. I just, I keep it very simple. I do believe that this has a we're gonna go more into it. Just checking on him, sorry. He's in the pack and play right next to me. He just woke up for a feeding, but he didn't like drink as much as he normally does, so I'm curious if he's gonna wake again looking for more. I'm kinda curious because the baby monitor we used with my daughter up to probably the beginning of well, the end of last year, um, when she was actually, like, if something was wrong, she was able to, like, actually get out of her bed and come get us in the bedroom. I didn't feel like I needed a monitor in there anymore because even if she's crying at night, I leave my door open and I can hear her. With Hunter, his room is a little tiny, but his room is next to Ella's room, so just a tiny bit farther from me, um, and obviously you... You know, I, I have the monitor now, but when he gets older and takes naps where he's sleeping upstairs and I come downstairs, I just want something that A, I can possibly speak back to them to because I know I always used to have to yell at my daughter to get back in bed. Um, so, you know, these are all features that we're going to explore today in, in today's video. So I don't want to make the t intro too much longer. Uh, let's just go ahead and crack right into it. It looks like you can um, mount it on the wall and everything. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that down here. I'll have to um, bring it up to the crib that he uses at night because if he's down here, I'm down here with him anyway. Um, and then if I have to go upstairs, I bring him up with me. So there's no sense in putting it anywhere that he's not gonna be like sleeping. Um, so as soon as I open it, it says charge 16 hours before the initial reuse good. Um, it's still, you know, early in the day enough that I can actually um, charge this. So here, here's the actual monitor itself. It comes in a little protective sleeve. So it seems pretty basic. Um, it looks like this shows me, like there's a little maybe power indicator up here. It just looks like on speaker, which I'm assuming if it's anything like my old one, you hold it down to speak to them. Um, you have this kind of uh, uh, analog stick, <laughs> but not a stick, um, to control it. So hopefully this monitor will allow me to like move around a little bit. Um, it'll probably have like a zoom function as well. I'm not sure what this button quite yet is for, um, but then we have this little protective piece. And it looks like there's like another button maybe to turn on and off the screen. Um, so we're not really going to know, but it does have what looks like a pop socket <laughs> in the back. But I'm assuming that's also to help um, mount it. So when you put it down. Oh, hello. 
and a little antenna. <laughs> so there's the actual monitor itself. And then it looks like we have, oh, okay. This is the camera. Once again, a little plastic protective sleeve. So this is it. It looks like there's just one little power port right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is like a screw. This is where it powers. There's a little tiny button in the front. Um, I'm assuming to indicate that it's actually on. And then of course the camera itself. I don't want to touch it and get it all dirty just yet. In here it looks like we have a couple more pieces. Maybe just a couple of charger cords. I don't know if both of these chargers are for the same thing. It looks like the same sort of output cord but I'm not sure again it might just be like one is for I'm not quite sure one's got to be for the monitor itself to obviously charge and then the other one's got to be for this one that you would keep like always plugged in and then it looks like the last thing on the bottom here is probably just the base yeah it's like the mounting base so I'm not sure I'm probably going to mount it on my wall just because I like to see like directly into the crib. Um, but yeah, we just have the little base right here and then it's super easy. It just has two like screw holes in the back and that is all of the contents. I do have an extension cord here. So hopefully we can at least see how this works and then when hunter is finally in his crib relaxing i can show you guys like what it looks like too um so let's see let's just get this plugged on in here so as soon as i plugged it in it turned on it says motorola it says see and hear your baby from anywhere so i think there is an app so it shows me that it's charging obviously there is no camera um, connected here. This is gonna have to get plugged in too and unfortunately I don't have a another extension cord over here but it's not a big deal. I'll show you guys this tonight but let me see. Whoa! I was gonna say because I was looking at this and I'm like okay that's gotta stop. Okay so to turn it off hold the power button off. Okay <laughs> we don't need that um, but even off it's showing me that it is charging so I'm gonna let that charge um, all day going back to this thing this thing will get plugged in and stay plugged in but I was like I was trying to figure out how the heck this is supposed to stay in here if it's like mounted on a wall and it's literally like it's such a strong magnet um, but I love that <laughs> I think that's so awesome so you could either put it on a table if you wanted or mount it um, just seeing how strong that magnet is. I mean, I don't think it's coming off. I mean, I'm really trying to shake it, but I don't think it's just gonna fall off on its own. Um, oh, also you can, oh, oh, okay. All right, so I definitely wanna hang it this way because you can get more of a bird's eye view rather than this way. It only comes up so much. Um, so that's pretty cool that you have that option as well. So very, very, very neat um, design and I've never had like something like this. I am curious again if you are able to remotely control the um, camera itself and if it would actually move in the base or not. So that's something that I'm gonna I'm gonna test out later today. Quickly I want to take a look at the app as well and get that downloaded so that you guys are able to kind of see um, my first impression of it tonight. So I have a little bit of setting up to do. I'm gonna let this stuff charge. I'm gonna get the um, app downloaded. I'll show you guys the app in a little bit, but I think at the moment that's all I can really do. Um, I'm dying to show you guys, but I I'm not quite prepared yet. So I will see you guys in just a second, um, a little bit later today. All right, well, I've been playing around with this thing and clearly this is easy. You literally just, plug it in and you can see whatever. Hey baby, we're all ready to go pick up our sister. <laughs> but truthfully, I'm having difficulty pairing it with this thing. So the instructions literally said just to hold this down for three seconds. When this started blinking, it was blinking um, red, but it just kept telling me that the connection has failed. So this part is a little weird so obviously you see this little blue light indicator 
and then we're gonna go to add camera we're gonna add a camera the Lux 64 connect so it says make sure the camera is plugged into a power source um, switch on uh, okay press and hold the button for three seconds it's two Mississippi three Mississippi okay pair and wait until oh okay Need for pairing and then hit continue all right i'll be completely honest with you it's been a couple days i i got really frustrated with the whole trying to set the camera up on my device um so i revisited it today and it was weird because it was giving me such a hard time and i just don't know if my wi-fi was just acting weird that day or something but like i tried the same steps very simple like the app itself tells you step by step exactly how to connect it is very simple once you get the hang of it um but i was struggling that day and i had done like a lot of playing around with it off camera and i just got so frustrated so a couple days later we're back <laughs> and um i finally got it to connect so i had stopped at this point so i could show you guys but at this point the app is asking me to give the camera a name and i just monitoring my baby um i also have hunter here I don't know if you can see him. I have, well, you see his bottle. And then I have Miss Ella over there too. So if you hear any background noise, I have the kids. <laughs> so I just hit continue after naming the camera. Uh, let me see if he wants any more. He might be full. He's passing out on me. Okay. We're going to switch to burp. Okay, I, I got to do what I got to do. I got videos to film. I got projects. I have deadlines. <laughs> I am a working mama. Even though I'm at home. Always working. Hi, Flippo. I need a big burp out of you. Oh my goodness. That, that was a really big one. <laughs> that was silly. Okay. So the next step is says it says motion detection. Do you want to get notified when something is moved? Interesting. And it has a like a little dial for motion sensitivity. So, you know, obviously you don't want to be notified every time they just like adjust, but if they get up or you know, I definitely. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle. I'm going to hit next. Sound detection. Do you want to get notified when some sound is heard? Uh, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to say yes and then get started. Now it's asking me to pull down to refresh my dashboard. I'm going to swipe down, I guess. And now this oval is doing something weird. Okay switch off the camera when off the camera will not capture any video it will not be activated by motion or sounds got it tap the widget to get a viewfinder okay we'll do all of this so got it all right so hi babe where are you going um <laughs> Hi, honey. What are you doing? He's trying to escape already. He's already trying to roll over. He can roll on his side. It's two and a half weeks, guys. My camera is plugged in. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit. I don't understand. This is why I got so... I mean, I'm dealing with babies at the moment, too. But I, I got so frustrated last time because I'm not even getting any picture i had to like hit the repair button on the camera and now i'm on my wi-fi so the camera has officially popped up on my wi-fi okay we just connected to it let me go back to the app and now see if i can actually see anything this is super frustrating <laughs> this is so annoying and i have to leave and like i just checked the watch that i'm not wearing i have to leave pretty soon she's being picked up i'm like I'm rushing for time here so, the, so I've connected and it literally tells me that motion was detected, but there's no, it says offline. Why am I offline? To be honest with you, uh, the idea of having the, the camera connected through my phone is awesome. Everybody, you know, yeah. and not everybody, but you know, smartphones are super useful. It's always on me. It's always charged. It, it'd be helpful to have, but 
this is so frustrating <laughs> and I don't know again it could just be my Wi-Fi I really don't know but this is just really 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 annoying and it's taken me like over a week to try to muster up the willpower to try, try to try to try to get this situated so honestly I'm, you know I'm not saying that the monitor is bad or anything but I'm saying that the app is really frustrating um, and maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm doing something seriously wrong that no one else would but um, you know it's just it's it's one of those things where I would just keep to the monitor the monitor is great um, even though I haven't been filming we have used the monitor a couple times so tonight or tomorrow night I will get some footage of us using it I'll show you guys like some things that I figured out and stuff um, but overall I mean the, the app itself does not reflect how I feel about the product. I think the product is still really great. Um, do I think that maybe it's not perfect? Yeah, I mean, but it's a baby monitor. I mean, how complex can you really get? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys super shortly when it's nighttime. I can kind of show you some of the functions. You keep losing your pacifier. And um, hopefully we can just wrap this project up, this review, and um, move on with our lives because I'm going to kill this app. <laughs> So I found a quick opportunity to show you guys the monitor. So I'm currently using it because he's in his pack and play. Um, I just took a quick shower, but it's pretty cool. So this little thing, I can talk back and forth. I've actually tried this out with my daughter too. I just didn't film it. Um, he might be actually waking up pretty soon. I'm going to turn down the volume a little, but it is super loud when it's turned all the way up, which I really, really like. Um, Oh, my baby. And then it has this option menu so you can zoom in more. The camera is really close to him right now, um, but it, it does, it can show a lot of space. Um, but you can zoom in closer. You can turn up and down the brightness of the monitor. Um, this actually, I have not tried the music or anything. Um, it says press OK to stop playing. I don't hear any. Okay, I don't hear any music. So maybe that's an option that I have to play around with some more, but it seems like, I don't know. Old man music box. Oh. Huh. Okay, I'll have to play around with that. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, I woke him up. Okay. Oh, is it still freaking going? Okay, that was incredibly loud. Let me, um, all right, I'm going to turn this back on. So that was incredibly loud. I'll have to play with that. I didn't even realize that does it, but so it's a, it's a music box in one, two, which is pretty neat. Um, I hadn't played with that function just yet. Um, yeah, I, I moved it. I'm going to have to fix it. But, um, so we have the music, we have a timer which um, I don't know honestly if that's a display timer because this will turn off after like 15 minutes or so, the display. But you can still hear everything. Um, I don't know if that's a timer for the music or a timer for display. Um, it does show the temperature of the room too, which is really nice. Um, this I don't know. I don't know what that does. Um, that looks like the little camera over there oh okay yeah 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 this was my question if I could move it so I can control the camera and move it where I need to be so that's really nice um, so we'll hit okay and then the last couple of things we just have um, 30 minutes or an hour I'm not quite sure what that display is for yet uh, I'm not sure what that yet. Oh, what's that face, honey? And then, I don't know, it looks like a... Oh, honey. It looks like a mailbox or something. I don't know. It has a whole bunch of displays. He's definitely waking up a little bit. Um, and then this thing, I actually don't know what this button is for. Oh, that's just to turn the display on and off if you want it off a little sooner. So overall, really great product. I'm obviously still playing with it, but I'm really excited that I got sent this. It works really well. You can hear them really well, too. Yeah, as you can see. And even when I speak, like they can they can hear me. Um, 
when he gets a little older as well. So I just want to thank Motorola for sending me this <laughs> to review. I definitely think it's a great product. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review and I'm looking forward to continue using this. Hopefully I'll figure that out that app soon. Um, but if not, it's still a fantastic product. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.